my tastefully Vicky kitchen and by God hasn't it been cold. It's been freezing outside. No snow yet but it's still to come. Anyway, to keep you warm I thought I'd create a hot pot for you. It is a lean one, something I don't really do often enough to be honest because I love a dumpling, as cheeky as they are, but potatoes are very useful to make it extra lean. So keep on watching if you want to learn how to make my recipe. So firstly preheat your oven at 180 degrees and you're going to need a lidded casserole dish for this and just spray it with cooking oil spray or add a teaspoon of oil whatever you want and add 400 grams of lean diced beef and give that a good season with salt and pepper and just fry that until it's browned and then you'll need to add two large diced onions and two large peeled and chopped carrots and just gently fry that for about five minutes and keep on stirring and then add a tablespoon of plain flour and that works out one sin per person if you're serving four and give that a really good stir until you can't see the flour anymore and then add a red wine stock pot which is sin free and 600 ml of beef stock and just bring that to the boil next to give it some flavor you'll need to add a sprig of fresh thyme and then to bulk it up a little bit more i added 150 grams of frozen peas and give it a really good stir and then the final ingredient, which is the essence of a hot pot, just layer the top with 600 grams of peeled and sliced potatoes, about five millimeters thick. And then pop the lid on, place it in the oven for an hour and a half. And then once that's done, remove the lid, up the temperature to 200 degrees and cook it for a final 30 minutes and you're done. And you can eat it on its own or some vegetables on the side. So please feel free to comment below if you found this really useful and if you made it, why not take a picture and tag me on Instagram, hashtag TastefullyVicky, because I'd love to see it. And yeah, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.